Okay, let's talk about atoms. So, an atoms are the smallest piece of an element that behaves like the element does. Smallest unique piece. You can fit about 200,000 atoms on the tip of a pen. So, they're very, very tiny things. Atoms have a nucleus. And in the nucleus of an atom, you will find protons and neutrons. What can you say? You have protons and neutrons in the atom's nucleus. And then in orbitals that are the surround the nucleus and you have, so then you have, in the orbitals, you have your electrons. Okay. So your electrons are hang, hanging out here. And as you can see, most of an atom's structure and size is based on the orbitals. Not, the, the, the nucleus is very small, it's right in the middle. It's the spread of electrons that, that give atoms th their size. Okay. It's also what, what holds us together. So electrons are in orbitals and protons and neutrons are in, inside the, the, the nucleus of the atom. Some other properties of these three subatomic particles. So you have protons, neutrons, electrons, you have a charge on them and a mass. Okay. Protons have a charge of plus one. Neutrons by the name neutral they have no charge. Electrons have a negative one charge. In terms of mass, protons weigh what we call one atomic mass unit. It's an arbitrary unit that, that we assign it to be a proton has that value of one. Neutron also has one AMU, atomic mass unit. And electrons are said to be negligible. They cannot be massless. Only light and things like, like neutrinos are massless. Electrons have some mass, but there are they're about one two thousand the size of a proton. So we basically call it a, a negligible mass. And typically in a neutral atom, the number of protons are matched by the number of electrons. That way, the charges will cancel each other out. Now, let's look at, at the electrons and how they distribute around the nucleus. Okay, and again, they're held in place because of the attraction between the positively charged protons will attract in the electrons to, have, to keep them in, in the vicinity of the, the nucleus. So these are horse shells, orbital shells around the nucleus. So you can have eight shells. Let's go eight shells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shells. And these shells can hold a certain maximum amount of electrons. So the first shell, the first one, number one, can hold two electrons maximum. So maximum electrons, it can hold two for the first shell. Second shell can hold eight. Third shell can hold 18. Fourth shell, 32. Fifth shell, 32. Six shell, 18, seven shell, back to eight. Okay. And we, 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 we use this one later, okay? We, 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 we use this shell later on when we try, try to punch the numbers in. So eight, 18, and probably still, still, still eight here in, in, in that eight shell there, okay? Now, each shell, each shell, so a shell, has things called sublevels. And sublevels have orbitals.
and each orbital each orbital can only hold two electrons. Start there. The sub the possible sub -level, sub levels that you have are sub level S P D F. Okay, and not all shells have all these sub levels. So we're going to draw for you next. We're going to kind of put together a chart of the shells and the sub levels that they contain. Go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shells. The first shell has an S level. Same for second shell. S, S, S sub levels here. Second shell also has a P level. Two P. So there's no there's no second. Um, sub level in the first shell. Three P P. When P there, and there's none in, in the S. In fact, this one will only hold two, really. Again, we won't. It will hold two if, if it existed, so we will not, we'll not leave it put anything, 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 anything there right now. The third shell, so if it's 2P, 2S here, you're going to have the third shell out for 3D. There is a D sub-level in the third shell, as well as in the fourth shell, 4D, 5D, and 6D. Is chart right, and then the F level is only present in the fourth and fifth shell. We have four F, five F. Now, when we assign the electrons in to the shells, they fill them up in a certain certain order. What we call the to call off ball principle. And the order is this, electrons will fill this way. You'll first do this one, fill it up, then that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, then that one. In, in that order. And this one, and this one. And this one, okay. So the order that they they fill them up in, draw it out for you. Don't make a mistake here. And you can stop this. Basically, follow the arrow. So you have you would have you have twenty different suborbital sub to fill up, sub levels to fill up. So you have your one s, then. 2s, then 2p, then 3s, right? Continue to 3p, then 4s, then 3d, 4p, 5s, then 4d, then 5P, then 6S, then 4F, all right, then 5D, 6P, 7S, and then 5F, 6D, 7P, and 8S, all right? So you fill it in, in this order. So for example, if you have an atom, say, with 60 electrons, right? To, to populate them in, in their orbitals, okay, you would, 60, so you got two here. The first, remember, remember the, the S sub-level can only hold two maximum, so you put two here. 
then two here, so that's four. Peaking level six, oh, was total, total four. Peak, peaking level six, S again, two, six, two, D can hold 10, uh, P, six, S, two, D again can hold 10. Let's see how many we have so far. So we have four, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, 38, 48. Peaking all six, that's 54. Two here, make 56. And then they put the remaining, the remaining four here in, in, in the F level, all right? And that's how it would, it would distribute. And so there's something called the valence shell. So the valence shell, or the refers to the last shell, and the the valence, valence electrons are all of the electrons in the valence shell. These are the ones that will participate in reactions. Okay, and so you want to know how many electrons an element had available to get involved in, in reaction. And so in this case here, the number of Bennett's electrons for this particular um, atom, this is, this is seven or six, let me try to get this, four, 10, 12, 16, 18, four, uh, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, <coughs> 38, 48, 54, 54, 56, yeah, 60, okay, 60 there. So here, the number of base electrons in this case would be find the, the which, find the highest number you have that has electrons in it. And in this case, it is the sixth shell, okay? And that's...